They knew that others had gone before them unsuccessfully. It's no small thing to try and bridge the 20th century and the Stone Age, wrote Nate Saint. They knew they had a lot to lose. But he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. And so the day came, the moment they had fasted and prayed and hoped for. The overtures of friendship had been successful, and the missionaries made the first known peaceful contact between the feared Alcas and the outside world, complete with peanut butter sandwiches, insect repellent, and an airplane ride. Their moment had arrived. Men of courage, with your message of peace, what is that look in your eyes? Why have you come to this faraway place? What is this story you would lay down your life to tell? What kind of love can this be? There is no greater love than this And there is no greater gift That can ever be given To be willing to die So another might live And there is no greater love Than this Imagine being five years old, a time when daddy is your hero. How do you tell a child the most tragic news of his young life? Broken hearted from all you have lost, how can you sing? your tears What is this music that can bear such a cost What is this fire that grows stronger against the wind What kind of flame can this be Can ever be 
is no greater love than this There is no greater love What now? They were gone, but why? It seemed like such a waste. Five young men, their whole lives ahead of them. Their young families by their sides. Where was God when the spears went in? Where was God when the bodies were dumped in the river? Why, how, the questions flood, drowning all that you thought you knew. But this is not the end of the story. As is the case with God, sometimes what seems like a tragic end is really a miraculous beginning. One of the wives of the five martyrs and the sister of another were compelled to continue what was begun. Elizabeth Elliot and Rachel Saint had studied the Alka language with an Alka woman named Dayuma, who had escaped from the tribe during a killing raid and was now living in a nearby village. Then one day, in an unprecedented act, three Alka women emerged from the jungle. They came with an invitation to the women. Come live with us and tell us of the man maker. Rachel, Elizabeth, and little Valerie Elliot took a step of faith and followed a trail never before walked by an outsider. One by one, the tribe responded to the good news. Little by little, the Bible was translated into their language. Rachel Saint lived out her entire life with the people she loved so dearly. At her funeral in 1994, the Waldani offered a second invitation for an outsider to live with them. A boy whose history was intertwined with theirs was asked to walk with them into the future. The original vision of Operation Alka 1956 came full circle as Nate Saint's son, Steve, uprooted his family and headed for the Amazon to join the Waldani as they followed God's trail. And now they are no longer the Alka, the savage. They call themselves simply the people, the wild dog. My heart is restless as I wander through this jungle. The trees above refuse to let the sunlight through. And somewhere deep inside, I hear the whispered longing that tell me I was made for more. A blinding flash of light falls down into the darkness Slowly I notice strange new markings on the trail The crimson drops are calling out to me Come and follow, I am the God who made you Let me show you for me.